Yeah. Really? <laughs> okay. Good girl. So, why don't you just ask her? We're not going to do it with a bucket. Okay. okay, we're just going to see if we can't get those maneuvers, those movements, without being so particular because there's a bucket under her belly. Okay. So, you're just going to believe that she's paying attention. Okay. okay? When you set your hand out, she's going to do something. You're going to see probably her chest muscles will probably tighten okay. to let you know that the message got there. Okay. And then just watch her lean. If she leans forward, tell her, don't go forward. And it's very gentle. Don't go forward. And then right, go right back to saying, now, I'd like you to go that way. And it's very suggestive. She's actually responding to very, very suggestive. Um, and I would ask her to... Because she's kind of up on her knees now, I would ask her to almost rock back a tiny bit. So I just kind of give her a tiny, tiny little wiggle just to let her know we're not going to go forward. And then, yep. Now you don't want to correct what she just did, because oh, okay. she actually already started it for you. Okay. So if you correct her from looking that way, then it's going to be harder for you to actually get her to look that way when you want her to. Always believe that if you're a good leader, your horse will know exactly what you say when you say it every single time no matter where their focus is. So like even right now, you can still tell her to cross over right now, even with her focus being way over there. And if she respects you, she's going to turn around and actually move because you told her to. Yep. You got it. Good. Now, yep. Keep going. Yep. Now don't push louder. Just give her the benefit of the doubt that she was listening. Yep. Back her up. Good. Rock her back. See how she's so rocked forward on her knees? You want to rock her back. Don't worry about her, where her head is. Rock her back. Yep. And now tell her which way you want her to go. Rock her back again. See how she kind of rocked back up on top of her knees? Yep. Now rock her back a little bit more because she's going to go forward. It's all, see how way over she, her knees she is? We want her off her knees. So get her back off her knees. There you go. See how she's rocking back now? Good. And now you're going to still want to give her a backward feel. Oh, no, she's got it. Yep. Good. Good. Now that's, that's okay. I'm happy with that. Because that, that was an effort that she made trying to respond to what you're asking for. Girl. Yeah. There you go. Good. Good. So she's... She's saying a lot about um, what she wants from you, mm -hmm. and she wants a lot of quiet that she's really, really willing to listen to. Okay. So go ahead and get in front of her and ask her to take that other step. So watch her knees. She's a little over her knees now, so you're a little bit of a backward feel. back legs stick more. There and now. Go. You go forward at the end so you can control that. And if you need to, in, in a case like that, you can get a tiny bit louder just to say, hey, but don't go forward. But she's really responding better to, hey, because like, do you ever see the movie Airplane? Yeah. Where the ladies smack her? Yeah. She needs kind of those moments, but she doesn't need it all the time. Okay. So she needs you to kind of say, hey, are you? Uh -huh. and then go quiet again. Okay. And when, see, she's looking and chewing. She's, she needs more of the real real all the time and then only loud, like, you know, throw up the volume just to be obnoxious and then bring it back down. So go ahead and ask her to take an. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. And when they lower their head like that, that's really a, a sign of respect for you. When you put your hand on their head, that's like a, a goal I have with every horse that I work with, being able to put my hand on their head and they drop their head to the ground. So offering you that right now is a good thing. Okay, so go ahead and do one more. Yep. Yep. 
Tiny bit more behind. Yep, there you go. Good. Good girl. So now, let's see how particular you can get. We're going to actually ask her, without her moving again, hopefully, and it's, you might, if she rocks back, she may choose to put that foot back. But what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to ask her to actually cross her feet over with very specific. So you need to have, like I was telling Susan, they pick up pictures. If your brain is projecting a picture of what you're looking to see happen, she can pick. So you're going to come on. She's going to cross loud so it looks like I'm actually telling them to cross their feet over but actually I'm just throwing pictures at them um, tell her you want her to cross her feet over towards the stop sign yep girl okay I don't know what time it is I'm imagining we're probably I'm not sure. It seems like sometimes it, the tedious stuff takes longer because that's a perfect note to end on if we're really close. Yep, 6.30 on the nut. If you're looking for a place to end, you always want to look for a place not only where she really did what she wanted, but where you feel pretty good about yourself for... Okay. Thank you. Yeah? She says a lot. She says a lot, but she, she mumbles. Like, uh, Well, let's say she says a lot, but she says it under her breath. Okay. But she's, she'll start really talking to you. You go, girl. Oh, that's good. That's good. Good reward. 